And so I've been sort of <clears throat> doing things to try to be calmer in the morning. And one of those things was I, I started to sort of like acquire a taste for proper espresso. And I, I have sort of very much fallen down the rabbit hole of espresso. So you want some coffee? All right. I use a, uh, a scale made by Akaya. It's actually an IoT scale. So it's, it's Bluetooth enabled. It talks to my cell phone. Um, I start by um, dosing the espresso. I like 20 grams, 30 seconds is what I generally shoot for. So these are glass vials that are made by a company called uh, Lynn Weber that made this grinder. And I'll show you the grinder in a second. But um, as espresso, after it's been roasted, it outgasses. And these valves in, uh, these are CNC aluminum uh, lids with a one-way valve. So it outgasses the gas that sort of makes the espresso taste a little bit stale. So my son, he brings in the calipers and he's measuring and, and he left. And then two hours later, he came back with this 3D printed stand, which makes it so you can perfectly hold the espresso to measure it. I like to start um, with 20 grams. So uh, when I bought the scale, Lynn Weber made this nice CNC um, funnel. It's aluminum and it fits there. So the Akaya scale lets me get 20 grams. So we'll do 20 grams. Grinding, when you're doing espresso, you should probably spend at least a third of the cost of your espresso machine on a grinder because having nice, even um, grounds is super important. This one is like the most beautiful work of art. Um, it's a hand grinder. So I told you, I kind of like to go slow in the morning. <clears throat> no, I don't like to go slow. I develop habits that cause me to slow down in the morning. And this is one of those things. So dump in the espresso. And one of the super cool things about this espresso grinder is it grinds it straight through and then into this bottomless dispenser. So you can pull it out. And when you pull it out, it makes all the different density of the grinds sort of spread out evenly. Um, and it doesn't capture any of the espresso as it's going through. So almost basically everything you, you grind ends up in your coffee. I like to dispense a little bit of water into the cup. It primes the pump. Um, you know, it's an Italian espresso machine, so that means it's a little bit of a pain in the neck. But that being said, it does have a, a feedback control system, a PID feedback control system for the temperature. So it does give amazingly even temperature. So I take a couple of drops of water into my espresso. Um, the grind settings on this thing, they're super fine. So you can change the dispense time by about three seconds per click. So I always like to shoot for 30 seconds so it hits the right amount of time on the bean. So then you get to <clears throat> grind the espresso. And everybody says, what if you had, you know, a motor on there? And I said, well, if I had a motor on there, it wouldn't be this cool. I use a, uh, a VST bottomless portafilter. And the reason you do it is you want to be able to see the espresso coalescing out of there all evenly. You don't want water jets through the puck. You want it to go through the puck completely. And um, they made these holes with a laser cutter and they're all exactly perfect. So you get it, it's, it's perfect, right? So I do one twist and into the espresso and I knock it down in there. So it's down into the puck. One knock to make it even. Um, I use a Espro um, tamper. The tamper's got, it's like it has a torque wrench in it, essentially. So when you press it, it breaks loose when you get the right PSI. So a nice even tamp. Okay, that's good. So I put it in the machine. I've got the cup warm from the water I dispensed earlier. Um, my scale is cool. 
other than it doesn't have Cypress cap sense in it, so it's a little bit not as good from a water tolerance standpoint. Um, so I put it on there, I get it ready, and I turn on the valve in my espresso machine so my espresso machine is plumbed in. So it's connected to the mains in the house. And when you move the valve up, it lets the mains pressure start to push water and the water gets into the puck and it's called pre-infusion. And so the water gets into the grinds and they bloom. And then once they're good and water's uh, bloomed, then you turn it on, hopefully, and the, you'll start to get the drips as your shot is born. And this is amazing. When you look down here, you can see the drops are coming out in all the different places. And then as it starts to get in there, the timer starts to turn because they've got a, a auto tearing function in the thing and that gets it. And then the most ideal case is the, the espresso is coming out of the puck all evenly and there's not a place shooting through. And ideally, you'll get one stream of espresso. In this case, I got one stream of espresso. It hits 30 seconds and you get 37 grams. And now I don't know, what do you say? Money? Is it, is it where you wanted it?